my test run now because it's recording. Okay, yeah, true. And see what happens. You see the smart of bruise I have? Yeah. My name's Abby and I am one of the co-founders of CGB and in my day job I'm a software engineer. And I'm Mass and I'm one of the founders of AGT. A lot of um what are they called? Acronyms going yeah. flying around. Um and yeah basically Abby has um, asked me here today to help her basically put this video together. So Abby, you've been asked a few questions, where did they come from? So I recently um, spoke at YSYS brunch and it was a really, really good event. I don't know why you didn't come, by the way. I'm, I'm very sorry, yeah. Was, <laughs> I was invited. Um, but yeah, so basically <laughs> I spoke with um, Alex, amazing guy, uh, founder of Community Labs. And basically after our talk, I felt like most people wanted to ask more questions and we had a limited time. so. Why did I posted um, a video on Insta and asked people if they want to ask me questions? So I picked two questions I'm going to answer today, and the idea is just like a follow up, and then if people have more questions, they need like comments down, down below. below. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess I'm going to be asking the questions. So yeah, let's jump right in. Um, the first question that was asked Ooh, was sorry, it's all right. I think. <laughs> The first question that was asked was, do I need a product roadmap to build a product? Okay, cool. So, let's define the word first because it's a bit like... Ooh. Yeah, we've actually been going back and forth about this. I'm just like, but roadmaps are plans, so... Yeah, so a roadmap is a plan in the most simplest form. So, do I need a roadmap for when I build a product? The answer is yes, because... You need some organisation in your life, right? Because, um, so what a product roadmap um, gives us to a user, um, it highlights all the short and long term goals for the business in a map where you're able to add your technology solution across there. So you're able to figure out where you're coming from from the beginning to the end and you're able to split into different stories. So how you create that roadmap is, you know, when you actually do the discovery, um, you're able to ask users a couple of questions, figure out the actual problem, and then figure out, again, this is really, really fast. So I'm trying to skip stages to where the roadmap is implemented, creating in a scope of maybe five to ten years and then from that you're able to split it and then you know create a sprint and just start like creating your first MVP and from that you're able to illiterate and then illiterate and then illiterate and eventually iterate. 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 That's the word. Sorry. Like illiterate and here's me trying to correct her. I was like iterate. What? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so it's a real thing. So um, I was actually saying to Abby um, mm. that I think what would be really valuable is a sort of workshop type class um, on how to create a roadmap. Okay, I can do that in the future. If people want that, don't mind. Seriously, um, let her know because... I've been saying it. I think it's useful. Anybody else wants it? I'm not. So basically, historically, I've been an over planner and less of a doer. Um, just like more ideas and then trying to plan the idea out before trying anything. Um, one thing I learned from volunteering ICS program that shut down recently, shoot then aim. And um, basically, I've been doing more of that lately, but now I need to work on the planning side of things. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I'm saying the roadmap thing is... Yeah. So yeah, guys, um, seriously, help me out. I want this as well. Uh, if you want her to do it, uh, let's <laughs> let her know. Um, but we'll move on. Um, the second question that was asked uh, was, do you ever feel out of place or have imposter syndrome uh, being in a male-dominated environment? And if yes, what do you do? I feel like an imposter every day, guys. I'm just telling you this for a fact. I'm an imposter, I'm joking. But you need to be an imposter because how do you know when you're living up? Like, 
if you want to level up as a person, you need to feel uncomfortable and start being comfortable with being uncomfortable because then otherwise you won't grow as a person. You be yeah, stuck on a level. Yeah, yeah, because. What's the point? Because how do you know you're good enough when you haven't tried the app, right? That's very true. And if you fail, you've got to put not yourself out there. You've got to put yourself out there. You. But then I believe, like, especially like this question is very important, especially in like in an IT sense. Like, do I feel like an imposter because I'm a person of color? I am a certain gender. I'm a certain. What gender? I'm a female. Guys. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. News to me. Jokes, jokes. Sorry. No, I, I classify myself as female. Um, but <laughs> again, as well, education-wise, like I didn't come straight from like no, wanting IT. I had like a, a transition moment. But um, being in a space, especially the way I look and the way I act, um, most people don't see me as a typical, you know, IT girl. Yeah. Like when people look at me, they're like, oh. You look. I don't know what they think I look, but then I just forget about that. It's for another time, for another, another Q and A. I know, but um, it's about like what I do, um, especially like I. I think the best advice is like when you do feel like imposter at that moment when you're at work in industry and you're doing something, maybe having maybe five minutes break. Um, I always use this because like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom, and then when you get to the bathroom, that like just. You have mirrors there, yeah, breathe. So go and then tell yourself in the mirror like you belong here and you can do this. And I will say like I love sticky nose by the way, I love it. Yeah, we've got she yeah. literally does. She just came so, carrying. This is the question. This is my life. So what I would do is like in a bathroom anywhere, like write down like five things that you've achieved in this year because we are in now in June. Yeah, so, so halfway so, mark almost. Yeah. Exactly. So what did you do like your best achievement to get to that place and write them down and literally from that moment of time you would know like you deserve to be there and you wouldn't be hired if you was not good enough. It's not because they wanna like pick you out because of the diversity box or whatever bullshit. No. Business is wise, businesses want to make money, so they're gonna always hire the best people in the story and you're unfortunately sorry. Businesses want to make money and they hire you for a reason so you're good at your job. So you need to say to yourself, I am good at your job. As a human being, you are allowed to make mistakes, but the best thing is learning from your mistakes and making a better attempt next time or maybe even shifting it. Like, I don't know. What do you do when you feel like you're an imposter at a moment of time at work? It's a big question, by the way. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I feel like, honestly, that kind of already answered this but I mean um, for me I'm still learning how to deal with when I get those overwhelming feelings and I think more than anything it's anxiety so yeah. um, but then, I feel like I do shut down for a minute maybe but I feel ultimately in that process of having my little breakdown I just go and isolate myself mm. sorry guys I just go and isolate myself and then um, I think while I'm alone it's a good moment to just take a deep breath yeah, slow down, just think things over a bit more rationally. Um, but yeah, slowing down is the most important thing. I think if you just let yourself get carried away, yeah. you just you get stuck in this kind of downward spiral. So you need to just stop, pause for a minute, mm. take your time. You don't even need to think about the, the, the matter at hand immediately, but just you have to be able to address it with a more rational mind. So I think just trying to get yourself out of that state of anxiety is the first step. Um, and I say this a lot, honestly, I say this a lot in ABT as well, like, noting down accomplishments is really important because... It's a way of validating that you've done it. Yeah, you, because we forget as well, I feel like, yeah, as humans, naturally, um, I don't, I don't want to say we're all negative thinkers, yeah, but I feel like our mind gravitates. Actually, we're emotional, so what happens is the most recent emotion that we've experienced is the only one that we seem to remember, so um, yeah. we feel sad, and it's like why is life so terrible yeah. when actually you've had plenty of great moments so yeah. yeah you forget so it's easy to remind yourself if you made a note of things yeah exactly i always say that like again as human beings we always gonna feel like we don't belong but then when is the right time you're gonna belong there's never gonna be a right yeah. time right yeah. so you're there right now and 
I always say to yourself that like, you've always been there for a yeah. reason. You've made it this far yeah. for some reason. But yeah, um, anyway, I think we've wrapped Yeah, we've answered the question. Well, Abby answered the question, I just chimed in. But then, like, quick plug, yeah, what AGT do does, and then what helps me as well is being part of the community. And the idea is that you have monthly meetings with a small group. It's like a big community, but then they split into small groups for people you feel comfortable with. And you have time to like you know dive down the actual anxiety and the, like what's affecting you. Thanks for the plug. Yeah, no, pretty much. But uh, yeah, if you need help, I think the first thing you should do is first of all always check yourself by writing all down what you're doing, and two is check who you with. If you're negative people, then you're gonna be negative. If you're surrounded with people that are doing the same thing as you, not in the sense of like entering IT, but maybe doing other growth, it's good to have that people around you to elevate you because you feel like yes I can do it I can do it because yeah, they have a strong network and yeah. old saying you know show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are so it's all that needs to be said exactly but yeah uh, thanks guys for listening to us hopefully I'll uh, be able to get Abby to do a bit more of this maybe we'll see <laughs> I'll see my time people anyway <laughs> okay